Britain's most senior family judge says that unmarried couples should get the right to share property and money if they split up. There are about two million couples living together in England and Wales. More than half are said to wrongly believe that they are already, already protected by the law. Here's our senior correspondent, David Bowden. This woman, who we are calling Sarah, lived with her partner for seven years. They were in love. They had a family together. To all intents and purposes, they were man and wife. But crucially, they never married, which is why now she's a single parent living on benefits and fighting for a change in the law. I actually believed that I was protected by law and uh, what we, you know, a lot of people know as common law husband and wife. Um, and it was a bit of a shock to me when we separated to, to discover that I wasn't uh, protected by uh, law. So I'm now in a situation where um, I've gone from living a very comfortable middle class life to living uh, in a two bedroom flat and surviving on benefits um, and really worrying about my income and, and you know how I'm going to live, how I'm going to survive. With an estimated two million couples living together in England and Wales but not married, and one in four children born to unmarried parents, this is a problem that is growing in size. But family law expert Steve Kerwin says the myth of a common law marriage and an outdated legal system means if it all goes wrong, you could end up with nothing. Unless you've made a financial contribution towards the purchase of the property or paid the mortgage, it doesn't count. It doesn't matter whether you've spent time and money bringing up children in the relationship, supporting your partner's business, or, or whatever. If you haven't put the money into the bricks and mortar, then basically you've had it. Unlike their married counterparts, unmarried couples have no rights to their partner's property or to maintenance if they split up. An unmarried mother has total parental responsibility for any children. Divorced couples share. And unmarried couples have no rights to each other's pension if their partner dies. And for inheritance tax purposes, they're treated as individuals, even if they've been together for years. But Louise Jacobs, who's planning her wedding in December, believes there's much more to getting married than a new dress, a big party, and making your relationship official in the eyes of the law. It's more of a kind of significant step of saying we're going to be together forever and start a family and our lives are going to be very much as one rather than whilst we live together we have separate finances, we get paid into separate bank accounts and I suppose it's more about being one person. So Nicholas Wall's proposals to put cohabiting couples on the same footing as married ones will increase the pressure on the government to do something about it. But the pro-marriage lobby is sure to resist anything which threatens the sanctity of that union. David Bowden, Sky News.